So Gamescom is back. We finally had opening night live, the sort of press conference of everything you may want to know by Jeff Keighley. And well, I want to break down the five things I am most excited about that came out of that press conference. So if that sounds like fun to you, make sure you stick around. The first thing we're going to talk about is the PlayStation DualSense Edge controller. I know it was the first announcement they made on stage, but this thing is super exciting. Uh, if, you're, if you're not familiar with what it is, think of like an Xbox Elite controller, but for the PlayStation getting a front and rear paddle system. But the most important bit here is the fact that you will be able to switch out the modules for the sticks, which means if you get drift, because let's face it, all controllers can suffer from drift at this point, you can pull them out and put in new ones. I think this is incredible. Not just because like, yay, you don't have, yay, you don't have to buy a new controller when your sticks go, or you don't need to learn how to unsolder the current joint and like put it in, like resolder, but also just from like a whole environmentality uh, point of view, being able to, instead of throw out a controller, but easily make it repairable by the user. Super great. Love to see it. Number four is going to be Under the Waves. This is being published by Quantum Dream, and I know Quantum Dream usually makes some pretty amazing narrative games, and this looks like it's going to be a pretty cool narrative game, all about underwater and sea views. I I am a sucker for underwater, uh, and this game looks like it is just going to be a gorgeous uh, playthrough in one that has just been suckered in by the world and I'm excited to see the narrative that gets uh, spun here. I know it's not uh, pro it's not being produced by Quantum Dream, it's being made by a different studio and Quantum Dream is the one publishing it, but I think that works as a benefit because a lot of times Quantum Dream stuff goes exclusively to PlayStation and yes, while I do have a PlayStation, I like being able to play it where I want. So, Under the Waves is my number four. Number three is Moving Out. Uh, or I should say moving out to uh, the original moving out was a super fun couch co-op game uh, that was just about the chaos of trying to get things out of a home and it was immensely enjoyable and it was one of those party games like it was overcooked light where you didn't get mad at the person you're with if you know what I mean like overcooked you have to be intense to get to to perfect it uh, and and there is a lot of bickering that can come out of these style of games. Moving Out felt like a notch less intense of that, and that's why I absolutely loved it. Uh, it's it feels like it's a going to be a great party game, and I'm I'm all here for it. Number two, um, The Expanse. It's a telltale game about the once sci-fi, then Amazon, uh, but before that, the book series. Uh, the Expanse or the Leviathan's Wake when it was a book series. Uh, this is going to be a prequel story about one of the characters that came to prominence in the later seasons of The Expanse, Karina Drama. Uh, I, like, one, The Expanse, if you haven't watched it and you have Amazon Prime, do yourself a favor and go watch it if you like hard sci-fi. It is a fantastic series. The world building is incredible. Uh, it is one of those series that I go back to on almost a yearly occasion uh, because of how good it is. If you want a nice, like, if you want, if you're someone who likes to watch something and play something at the same time, play Mass Effect Andromeda while watching The Expanse. They have a nice wine pairing sort of feel to them. But anyways, The Expanse is going to be a prequel series about one of the characters, Karina Drummer. I'm super excited just because it kind of shows her early days, shows her and I, what I assume is going to be her pirate days, like, I'm, I'm super excited uh, for to dive back into that world that, you know, it's no longer, they're no longer making the show. You can go out and read the books because the books go on for quite a bit longer than what the show covered narratively. But overall, yeah, The Expanse. My final thing and the number one thing I am most excited about from Gamescom opening night live is the finals. Uh, I don't, I don't know if if y'all know this, but this channel originally started as a Battlefield channel, and the finals is by a studio that is made up of old dice devs from Stockholm, i.e., the good dice studio that really isn't that great anymore. Um, maybe these guys were the magic, but 
Uh, we don't know exactly what it is. I have a feeling it's going to be some sort of Battle Royale-ish style game. But uh, just the small sort of... It wasn't quite gameplay, but it was definitely CG. But it was definitely in... Maybe it was gameplay sort of look. Uh, it looks like Battlefield. It looks like it's going to feel like Battlefield. And uh, it looks like it could be a lot of fun. And, you know, if, if it's going to factor in with the destruction and the gun style of Battlefield... I am all the way here for it, and I cannot wait to go out there and play it because it's going to be a ton of fun. So yeah, guys, those are the five things I'm most excited about from Gamescom opening night. What are you guys? What did you guys like from the show? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you like the video, go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. See ya.